Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, as per your time zone. I am Abdul Rahman Al Taf, and in today's session, we are going to learn Microsoft Team Live event from the organizer perspective. If you are interested to see or learn regarding the presenter point of view, just check out my other video that we already covered the presenter part. Uh, in this video, we are going to cover the organizer part. There is one thing we are not going to cover in this video: how to create Microsoft Team Live event and the policies, the features. of much of team live event while creating uh, hope so we are going to cover this one in our next upcoming video so let's jump into much of team live event as an organizer perspective so once you once we already created the much of time live live event you are able to see the live event in your calendar and uh, all the organizers the speakers and the presenter are able to see let's say the link in the calendar Uh, we have the attendee link this is the link you have to share with your uh, attendees they are going to attend the session uh, keep in uh, keep in mind in microsoft team live event we can we have let's say capacity of 100 presenters can present or join the microsoft team live event as an organizer and presenter and 10000 attendees can join microsoft team live event so let's join and start as a organizer point of view keep in mind that uh, from the organizer and the presenter side they must have to use microsoft team application either on the windows or the mac device and attendees can join the session from the mobile device by using the microsoft team application or from the linux mac or windows machine by using the microsoft team application or using the microsoft uh, edge browser or any browser they can use to join the microsoft team meeting so let's join the meeting and uh, as an organizer we have we have an option to join as an attendee or we have option to join uh, let's say at a room so we are going to join as an organizer directly and finally we are here in our demo in microsoft team live event currently you are able to see two windows one is with the q1 and the other one is with the live event the q is actually what's going to be live and the live event is what is live what the attendees are currently able to see on the screens and we have two options one is let's say the single source and the other one is we have the content left or we can say the split screen uh, let me join <clears throat> from my other device as a presenter so you are able to see how you can make a presenter as a live so attendees can see the event So here uh, I just join a demo with my other device. So let's say we are going to send a video live, and uh, we are taking a scenario. Let's say a presenter uh, is going to introduce himself. So let's say we are going to say that the event is going to start within a couple of seconds. So we'll prepare a window and we will click on send live. once we press the send live this is in the live event now and once we press the start button all the user all the attendees are able to see the live event window this one actually the live event window and uh, previously we have uh, let's say the live event is only for 4 hours but now microsoft extend the time up to 16 hours and there is another thing there is a delay between the presenter attend presenter and the attendees and the delay is from 10 to 20 seconds why this delay is actually uh, we have also subtitle um, what called the caption in up to six languages once we are saying something in english chinese or the german it's going to be uh, translated in a caption uh, in six languages so we have to choose there are lot of languages that are available but uh, at a time we can select up to six languages for the caption 
so that's why this is one thing that we have the delay uh, within the presenter organizer and the attendee side so i'm not going to press the continue i just press the cancel and now let's say presenter finishes intro and then and now he want to present the powerpoint slide along with the video so now let's select the powerpoint presentation from the presenter side but till now the attendees are able to see only the speaker video so now what we will do we will click on the split one or the content left and we will click here add content from below and we will select the content from below now we will press the send live uh, now what's going on the attendee side attendees are able to see now uh, the powerpoint presentation with the webcam let's click and let's start the session to give you a better idea how it's feel and look like from the attendees perspective so currently the session is live and uh, let's say attendees can see the powerpoint presentation with the presenter webcam so if you want to join so join a session as an attendee what what we are going to do we just need to copy the link get the attendee link that we discussed earlier and let's say we will open our browser and we'll paste the link okay we are not going to use we, let's say we're going to use the web one okay here we are Okay, this is actually the attendee side how the attendee is able to see what's going on let me turn it off which is on mute and this is actually from the attendee side how you can see the behavior of microsoft team console and there is only one thing if attendee want to uh, communicate with the presenter or the organizer here he can just ask a question in the question answer part let's see when the session will start so, and you say let's say here we have a live button so this will <clears throat> give us a view let's say currently the session is live <clears throat> we just send a question <clears throat> through the attendee side so just to give you an idea we have three things with the new published and dismiss and this will also help uh, the presenter to just uh, get the right question and the organizer will do the cleansing and these type of stuff let's say we have a question how to ask question so we will send a reply privately by text or through text so once i'll press i'll hit enter this is a private message dedicated dedicatedly only for a specific user all the users cannot see this message this is dedicated for the one user whoever is the initiator of the request he is getting this response let's say we have a second question regarding the azure calculator url so we want let's say this question is we want to publish this one and all the other attendees can see this question let's say we will we'll press the publish and here in the publish window all the users all the attendees are able to see all these questions and they can also like the questions and let's say we have the url so we can this is not the right url but just to give you an idea so we'll post the url and if the and from the attendee side is also able to see here the question here portal dot office.com and once he uh, click on the url he'll be able to navigate to the uh, right page and uh, let's go back so here we are in microsoft team application and uh, we have also option to dismiss the question once we press the dismiss the question will appear here in the dismissed window so this is regarding the question answer part we have here three options <clears throat> regarding the organizer there is one more important thing let's say if you want to share some surveys uh, with the end user or some links with the end user 
so this is the good part where you can share join us on let's say and you can share the url here and you will hit the enter and end user can receive the url and they can participate in the live event uh, survey so we discuss regarding the caption part here we have the um, let's, uh, subtitles and these type of stuff we can let's say turn on and off the fonts this is actually i just want to show you regarding the end user perspective no, let's say we have captions in different languages we can uh, let's say turn off uh, turn on the captions and we can select the languages which language we want to in the caption and we are able to see the caption and these type of stuff there is one thing uh, i want to show you here we have a live button if let's say there is some network connectivity happen so the user need to press the live button so he will or she will gonna be sync with us during the live session might be she is a few minutes or few seconds back so she need to press this button to be sync with us this will help us during the interactive session the speaker ask a frequent question so he need to be aware of these kind of stuff so uh, he knows let's say he need to guide the end user how they are going to let's say participate within the question answer and he will he need to be um, uh, let's say aware of the 20 second delay let's say the attendees will start responding after the 20 seconds of delay so we, here we are in again microsoft team live one so let's discuss the other stuff what we have here in the live event uh, the first one is here we have health and perform performance that we already uh, uh, we have uh, let's say, let's discuss this part also health and performance we have here this will show us the network uh, ability that currently what's the network estimated speed that uh, i have and this will also show the device webcam and these type of stuff and if you have let's say the external or internal webcam you are able to see these devices actually uh, previously my webcam was turned off that's why you are not able to see but <clears throat> i just turned on my webcam so that's why you are able to see uh, these two um, let's say the devices part also let's move to the next one the question answer we covered the meeting notes are uh, dedicated to the let's say presenter and the organizer if you want to take some notes during the session you have to revert back you can let's say take the notes and you can revert back to the user after the meeting let's say <clears throat> and we have a chat the chat is dedicatedly for <clears throat> presenter and the organizers let's say we have four five presenter and we have two three organizers so you can chat uh, let's say within the specific users let's say organizer and the presenter hi let's say if you can ask um, Uh, let's say the other user join the session or not so you are able to see let's say are you join the session or not <clears throat> the next upcoming speakers didn't join the session or not yet join the session so you can uh, also let's say like and these type of stuff regarding the normal microsoft team uh, chatting options the next one we have is actually the participant uh, we are able to see how many organizers and the presenters are here from here we are uh, able to see only the organizer and the presenter let's say we already have an organizer eight but uh, till now he didn't join the meeting and might be he's struggling to find the link or these type of stuff so what we'll do we'll just need to ask to join and uh, from the organizer side organizer mm -hmm. are actually getting the call to join the session so once mm -hmm. he press the join he's also able to be the part of our meeting so this is how you can let's say call the presenter if he's struggling hard to find the meeting link you can ask the presenter to join the same meeting so now he's already here with us the organizer 08 and here are setting options uh, let's say if you are using some external webcam and external microphone and these type of stuff so you can select let's say the different webcam and these type of stuff so this will help you uh, in that perspective and uh, we have also a feature uh, let's say if you can uh, turn off or turn on the captions there's an option to turn on the caption so you are also able to see the captions uh, what's going on actually 
uh, once you turn on the caption you are able to see what's going on on the screen why we are not able to see the caption actually uh, i put my microphone on mute and uh, that's why uh, we are not able to see the captions from the beginning of the event this is one of the reason and uh, for the attendees we already turn on the captions and uh, we have a share option and if as an organizer if i want to present something if i want to let's say share any powerpoint presentation and these type of stuff keep in mind whenever the organizer is going to share anything it's going to override the presenter screen because uh, you are on the top tier so you have the more privilege on the end user so you are also getting the prompt or sure you want to share something so be aware of while sharing anything during the live session because you are going to override the presenter screen and uh, we have the option <clears throat> let's say to include the audio if you want to present some audio device and these type of stuff you can also let's say cover this part also let's say how we can let's say present uh, the audio in the system audio to the audience or the attendees so you have to select this one the include uh, audio option and um, this is uh, all from our side and um, let's finish the meeting and we'll be able to see the different type of stuff the recording and uh, attendees report uh, here we have actually the most important thing is the end one once you press the end button you cannot restart the event so this is the most critical thing in the microsoft team live event so you cannot restart the event after this one and all the attendees are able to see the recording till you press this button the end live button so let's say we are going we need to end the session and we'll press the end live event okay then the live event is ended now and uh, let's go back and leave the meeting and uh, check a few couple of things what we can what we got after the uh, meeting stuff let's let's say we already finished some couple of meetings and uh, what we can get after the meeting actually the recording uh, we can download the recording we can uh, download the question answer report with the username and the, all the report of the question answer and the attendee engagement report uh, also we can download let's say when the user joined the session and these type of stuff you can easily download from here <clears throat> recording for attendees this is actually the important part let's say uh, here we are in the attendee side and uh, at the end till the end of the session uh, whenever whoever the attendees have the link they are able to see the recording of the session also but if you don't want to allow attendees to see the recording that you can turn off the recording and <clears throat> end user or, or the attendees cannot able to see the recording mm -hmm. so and the transcript that what we discussed before let's say if you have transcript in multiple languages you can download the transcript also from from here so this is uh, let me show the other one might be we are not getting the transcript because we enable the transcript only for specific languages but you should turn on the transcript on multiple languages then you are able to see the transcript in multiple languages here and you can download all the reports whatever the reports you want to you can download from the reports and the recording from here let's download one let's say um, question answer report and it's going to be downloaded in your pc so let's say let's press here so here we are this is our actually the question answer report so we are able to see the report here the question answers so this is actually the total question answer report we are able to see and we can scroll and we can easily see the question answer report and these type of stuff so this is all from the microsoft team live event side and uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, enjoyed the video and uh, learn something new regarding the microsoft team live event so if you learn something new or like this video just hit the like button thanks a lot for your time and watching this video thank you bye bye